when I listen to a sermon, I want to know that uh, the preacher has sort of shown up for work earlier in the week. I think it's Tom Long who says, you know, the, the congregation sends the preacher to the text and says, you're doing some work for us, for all of us. Um, come back and tell us what you, what you found out, what you know. Uh, I like that. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful, actually, uh, when my own pastors uh, spend time like that with a biblical text and then, and then work with us in the congregation as they preach, uh, sharing, helping us to make the same kind of discoveries that they've made. Uh, to the question of sort of the ingredients of a good sermon, I suppose some, you know, some evidence that uh, the, the pastor has considered what they're going to say and, and aren't just uh, falling back on the old sort of standard vocabulary or, or uh, kind of generically hopeful thoughts or something. I also want the uh, sermon to be biblical, and I don't mean that it has to be verse-by-verse um, verse exegesis of a text, but that somehow if you imagine the Bible kind of being a planet and having a gravitational pull, that uh, biblical sermons are, are uh, in orbit, <laughs> moons in orbit around that uh, biblical witness. And so some of them are going to be quite close in and almost, uh, you know, a kind of Bible study. Others are going to be maybe more thematic, but they're recognizably uh, connected to the biblical witness. And then I really like uh, something I think a lot of people don't do very much of, which is um, connecting the pericope of the, for the Sunday, the, the little bit of text that we get, to its context. I was just looking at um, 2 Corinthians this morning, and Paul talks about God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. And I thought, you know, how interesting that Paul talks about reconciliation, the cosmic reconciliation, in a letter where his relationship with the letter, with those who re receive this letter, is broken. So it's very personal, and yet it's cosmic at the same time. And it's in that context of a broken relationship that he begins to talk about God's work to reconcile everything. So just that kind of an insight can come from reading a little more broadly in, the, in whatever book or letter or whatever uh, someone's preaching.